Hey everybody, it's ColonCollex999. Welcome back to more Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. In the last episode, we got a bunch of pieces of hearts and a bunch of... And blew a bunch of stuff up. Yeah. And we also went on a grave digging tour. And in this episode, I actually forgot to get the, uh... The 20 sculptures reward. Excuse me. In the house of sculptures. So let's see what they have for us. The curse has been broken. Thank you. Here's a reward for you. You obtain the Stone of Agony. It will, if you equip a Rumble Pack, it will react to nearby secrets. And actually, I do not own a Rumble Pack, so but I was going to go to the to the game store to get one. Yeah, I was going to get get a Rumble Pack specifically for this game. I don't have because I was doing a Let's Play a bit. I unfortunately lack a Rumble Pack to do so. So no Rumble for us. Although. Although, uh, the, the guy who worked there did say we get they get rumble packs in there often, so I'll have to check back in there every so often to see if they have one. Okay. So, basically, now we want to head over here. We, uh, saw this area briefly, um... We saw this area briefly, um, in the last episode because we wanted something to spend our rupees on. Uh, but now we can, but now, uh, but now we can actually go to it. Well, we actually could go to it, but now we're gonna actually do stuff there. And Gabora Gabora is here again. I think we already saw this. Okay, okay. Here we got this guy. He sells the- oh, you can see him flying in the distance. Sells the magic beans. Oh, crap. Well, you can find rupees in here. And I just want to mention, if you fall in here, you're going to get swept all the way back. And it's really, really annoying. Oh wait, you're supposed to jump over here. I'm so stupid. There you go. We just want to follow the river. Oh, we got this thing. Octa rock. Bounce the rocks they spit at uh, spit at you. Octa rocks. Enemies returning from Zelda One, but now they're not no longer uh, land dwellers. They're actually um. They're actually um strictly in the water, which I guess fits them. Uh, as you can see, there is a there is a piece of heart up there. We do not have the means of getting it, however. I think there is yet another shortcut you can use to get it early, but I'm not going to be using shortcuts. I'm not going to be using sequence breaks. I'm just going to play the game normally. Actually, I think you're supposed to use the cuckoo that's in the beginning for that to get it. Oh well, we won't be getting it quite yet. We got this area that looks similar to the area we found in the Lost Woods. Sleepless Waterfall. The flow of this waterfall serves as the, serves the King of Hyrule. When the King slumbers, it is so do these falls. Well, the King appears to be awake right now, so let's put him to sleep. Perfect. 
want to take some time to listen to this beautiful music. Pretty amazing song, I gotta say. Let me go in here. What the heck? Welcome. We got Dekonauts, a fish in a bottle, red potion, arrows, the blue tunic, recovery heart. A tunic made by Zora's adult size, prevents you from drowning underwater. Okay. So we got the Zora's here. Well, the Zoras don't really seem all that bad, judging by how bad they were in the previous games. What do you got to say to me? If you want to buy fish, then you need a container to put them in. Okay, we've got a bottle, but we don't really need them. Who are you? We are the Zoras, the proud aquatic people. So, do you say you have some connection with Hyrule's royal family? Well, what do you want from us? Um, oh wait, did you say something different? I want to buy a fish, but they are a little too expensive. I have no choice but to catch one in the fishes that swim- it, it's, it's just swimming around out of here. What, are they just hard to catch or something? Come on, you don't need to buy one. And actually, yes, um, we do want to catch a fish. Um, I don't really think we'll need the bugs for anything, um, so I'll just let them out here. And if we do need more, we know where to get them. So they can just crawl around wherever they want. And we want to catch, catch a fish in the bottle. Come on, dude, that wasn't hard to catch. Okay. But now there's something else I would like to do. Over here, there is... Oh, actually, wait. Uh, not here. I want to get my Degas just because there are torches here, and we can, uh... We can, uh... Light them. Yes. Uh, wait. Before we go and talk to that big guy up there, let's, uh, light these torches. I should mention, by the way, um, I think these, uh, torches with the wood around them will actually light, stay lit permanently. But I think these uh, let these torches only stay lit temporarily, so we gotta be fast. I like, come on. I oh was that not even all of them? Oh, it went out. That was the problem. Cause I was running around it for some reason. like that now we got now we gotta be fast there we go Let me get another piece of heart. Perfect. Alright. Now let's go up there and talk to that big guy.
Oh, my dear sweet Princess Ruto. Where is she gone? I'm so worried. Oh, you are. Well, I think we gotta use the ocarina here. Right? I may be honest, I don't really remember what I'm supposed what we're supposed to do. Oh, jeez. Ow. Um. Oh, wait, 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 hold on. Actually, there is something else we want to do. We're gonna go over here. High dive practice up. Are you confident in your diving skill? Well, what do you got? Diving games. Plenty of rupees. Wanna play? Sure. Okay. Pick up all the rupees I throw from here. You have only a limited amount of time. When you pick them up, uh, all up, come back here. I'll give you something very nice. So he's going to uh, throw rupees down there. More than what we paid for, I believe. And we gotta grab them in 50 seconds. What you wanna do is you wanna be above them and then uh, hold down A. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I, I remember what to do now. I remember what to do. And I believe this actually is required to get. I'm not sure, though. Hey, congratulations. I got something very nice for you. Come and get it. Oh, yeah. This is definitely required. It is required. Well, I guess technically not, but... I guess we're gonna find out. I'm eating the wise white cheddar popcorn. Hey, buddy. What a graceful dive. Now, please take this. This is a scale of our kind. With this, you can dive much deeper under the water. We got the silver scale. Jump into the water and press A. You can dive deeper than you could before. Can you? No, I didn't want to. B button. Oh, wait. There's actually a lot more rupees this time. Okay, fine. We'll do it again. Why not? Ow, I don't know what happened there. Well, basically, before the A button showed only three, now it shows six. We can actually dive underwater for a lot longer than we could before. Wow, this is actually a good way to, a to, a to get rupees. I never thought of this. Where's the last one? Oh, there is. Oh, no. We didn't get them all. Too bad. Practice hard and come back. Well, I'm not going to come back. We want to use the silver scale to uh, get down here. Oh, excuse me. We have now Lake Hylia. Now, I just want to mention that if you were to uh, go outside, uh, like in the way you came in, the Zora's Domain, uh, there, that area with the water in it, uh, that that looks similar to Lost Woods, that will actually take you to the Lost Woods, so we have it, so you have a shortcut to, uh, to uh, get back there any time. But we are in Lake Hylia. Where is this place, though? Oh. We're all the way on the other side of the map. We're like in the bottom left corner. Okay. 
Well, I believe there is something we can get up here. Oh, get here. Um, I think at least... I didn't want to jump off. Wait, is that Gabora Gabora is up there? Beyond this point lies Lake Hylia. It is full of deep, pure water. The Zoras, who live all, all the way upstream, guard the sunken temple at the lake's bottom, as well as the Zoras fountain. If you want to confirm its location on the map, press start and switch to the subscreen and Z or R to find the map. All the places you have visited will be shown on the map. Hoot hoot! Do you want to hear what I said again? No. Okay, be careful and go. It's kind of odd that the Lake Hylia is on the all the way on the other side of the map, yet we somehow got there by going into a little, I don't know. Well, put a bomb here. It reveals this. Oh, wait, hold on. This was the guy who. This was the guy who sells the pizza heart. It's ten rupees. I thought it'd be a hundred, but he gives you a piece of heart for ten rupees. Oh. Perfect. Um. Wait. I can't get over this, can I? Crap. Oh, wait, 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 never mind, never mind. I was, uh... There's another hole over here. I was about to say we can't get over that fence, so we're gonna have to go all the way back, but no, we don't actually have to. Five rupees. Never mind, there's actually a ladder over here. So we don't need to go all the way around. Thank goodness. Ah. That's what I get for not paying attention. Lake Hylia. Okay. Well, I will show you what you were supposed to do here. But this house over here, I believe there is um a soft spoil soil spot. I don't really know if you necessarily need the I don't know if you necessarily need the um the the bugs, but whatever. Let's see what's in this house. Oh. Are you related to Dompe? Hello there, son. I'm researching the process of making medicine by mixing Lake Hylia's water with various unusual compounds. Perhaps you've met an old lady at the potion shop. She is like a student of mine. Ho ho ho. Hmm. Okay. Well. We go down here, there are some, uh rupees. Doesn't like the same if you can get them, though. Let's just get back up. Hey, what do you got? I am a Zora. Have you seen a pretty Zora girl around here? Uh, no. No, I haven't. You all look the same, and... I am Azora. Have you seen anything strange in the lake? The river carries many things into this lake. Okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. The silver scale, that... Hold on. Wait. 
Yeah, the silver scale is definitely required for story progression. We have to grab this. You found an empty bottle. Put something inside and press C to use it. What? Something's already inside? Yes. We have three bottles now. That is awesome. Now we can carry three things. Three red potions if we want to. Actually, a red potion, a green potion, and some milk. How about that? So yeah, it is definitely required. It's not just for convenience sake. There's a letter inside, but it looked like there's a letter inside. Perhaps we should show owe this to the King Zora because he seemed really worried to want to talk to us. A letter, not Zelda's letter, but a letter nonetheless. Oh, this letter, it's from Princess Ruto. Hmm, let's see. She's inside Lord Jabu Jabu? That's not possible. Our guardian our, our guardian god, Lord Jabu Jabu, would never eat my dear Princess Ruto. But since that stranger Ganondorf came here, Lord Jabu Jabu has been a little green around the gills. Green around the gills, okay. The evidence seems clear, of course. You'll go you'll go find Ruto, and you can pass through here to the altar of Lord Jabu Jabu. I'll keep this letter. You keep the bottle with it. Take it respectfully. Please find my dear Princess Ruto immediately. Zora. Yep. And we gotta wait for him to move. An unskippable cutscene. I'm just waiting for him to move. Really slowly. He's not even gonna ask about the weather, huh? You know? Not gonna ask if the fins are damp lately? Oh god, that was terrible. Really? Nothing? You're just gonna make us wait all this? Okay, fine. Why did you just stop there? I can get past you! Okay. Why do I just move while he's moving? I don't know. Actually, now that I think about it, it would have been better for me to keep the bugs and then get the fish in this bottle. Zora's Fountain. Whoa. Zora's Fountain. Don't disturb Lord Jabu Jabu. King Zora the 26th. So this is Lord Jabu Jabu, huh? Kind of funny looking. Got anything to say? No? Okay. Uh, how about we give you a fish? You like that? Inside Jabby Jabby's belly. Well, we're in his mouth right now. Yep. Prepare for the grossest part of this whole game. Which I'm gonna spare you and just and just wait until the next episode. Um, I do want to show first that you can just exit, enter, and exit, exit him at will. So you're not in some, you're not eaten by him. Whatever. But if you can believe it, this is actually the third dungeon of the game. Yep, I can't believe it either. Which I'm gonna save for the next episode. So next time on so next time on, on Legends of Ocarina of Time, we are going to explore Jabu Jabu's belly. See you guys then.